Hey everyone, and welcome to the first episode of my new series, Day Tripper. Recently, I was in Napa Valley on a rainy day, and what's there to do on a rainy day other than wine tasting? So I stopped by one of my favorites, the Hess Collection. It's on Mount Veter. The great thing about the Hess Collection is they have a large modern art display at the winery, hence the name Hess Collection. Hadn't been there in over 10 years, so the time was right and I took a visit. Got lots of pictures and videos to share with you. Uh, some great pieces. I don't know how often they change it. Some fine wine. If you're in the Napa Valley, I highly recommend it. Take a look. Yep, it's raining. Tamer is an excellent blend of Malbec, Zinfandel, Cabernet Sauvignon, Petit Syrah, and Merlot. In the tasting room, they display the soil profile from the Hess Collection vineyards. I recommend doing side-by-side -side tastings of Cabernet Sauvignon grown in two different vineyards. It well illustrates how different climates and soils can affect the flavor of the wine. You'll want to stop in the gift shop so you can take some wine home with you. This piece displays Pi 3.14159 out to 500 digits. One of the interesting thing about these two pieces is that they actually change throughout the years and over time. The speed and direction of the runners vary, the color, and on specific dates, July 20th for example, Buzz Aldrin appears standing on the moon. Leonardo da Vinci's Vitruvian Man appears on April 15th, which is Leonardo da Vinci's birthday. Most of the collection is housed on the second and third floor. Hey yo, what up bro? That's why I didn't actually touch it. I observed the rules. The view through each of the windows in the gallery is beautiful, very well designed. I was fascinated by this piece called Surface Tension by Andy Goldsworthy in 1991. stalks from a horse chestnut were pinned together using hawthorn thorns. No glue is used at all, including attaching it to the ceiling, walls, and floor.
considerable undertaking and meticulous attention to detail, I don't particularly care for this piece by the Boyle family in 1987, called Lowry Park Study of the Concrete Curve. It's from their series, Journey to the Surface of the Earth. The medium is painted fiberglass. Apparently there is more to come at the Hess Collection, though not in production while I was there, an occasional window gives you a glimpse into the wine making process. Reminds me of MC Escher. Hi everyone! I call this one, Arrow Through My Heart. These two clips are taken from a collection of six video works by Marco Schuller in 2009. I wonder if he makes videos on YouTube. Thanks for watching the first episode of Day Tripper. There'll be many more to come. Thanks for watching.